Hey everyone, Trey Amick here from Magnet Forensics, and today I'm really excited to talk about the free trial of Magnet Review SaaS that we're offering to customers using Axiom. So to get started, I'm gonna click Learn More. Now that I'm on the Magnet Review SaaS website, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Get Free Trial. Now since I haven't created an account yet, I'm gonna go over to Create Account, fill out my information real quick. One thing to note about this is I enabled multi-factor authentication as well too. So I'm gonna to have to set up two-factor authentication, which won't take long at all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and verify my account from the email that I received from Magnet Review. I can go ahead and log right back into Magnet Review to verify my account. Now that we've set up our account, let's go ahead and take a look at how we get that evidence from Axiom into Magnet Review. Now that we've quickly set up our review SaaS account, let's hop back into Axiom and take a look at the options that we have when publishing our cases to Magnet Review SaaS. So in this instance, I'm looking at several different warrant returns that the investigator you know, received back for a case and asked if there was an easier way to dig through this data. And in fact, there is. I've simply processed them all with Axiom and now I'm gonna upload them to Magnet Review for the investigator to then be able to dig into further. I always think that since investigators know their cases best, it's good practice to get their eyes on the data before we as examiners really do our deep dive analysis. If we wanted to though, we could only upload say items of uh, things that we've bookmarked versus the entire warrant return or an entire device, we could absolutely do that as well too. So it's really up to the examiner on what you publish to Magnet Review for collaboration with your investigators. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on upload case to Magnet Review SAS. We've got Magnet Review selected up here at the top. Go to next. I'm gonna go ahead and say all evidence in this case. And as I mentioned before, if we wanted to, we could say items in current view, or we could specify just uh, specific tagged items if we wanted to just target what we were uploading to Magnet Review. But for this case, I'm gonna say all evidence. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. I want all the artifacts, perfect. All the columns that are included. This is allowing me to add the tags that I've already added in comments as well too to be published to Magnet Review. So if I had already gone through this data and reviewed it and kind of highlighted some things that I thought were interesting, the investigator would be able to see this within Magnet Review when I shared the case with them. I'm gonna leave those checked for now. Now we have our options for publishing this data to Magnet Review. And since right now I wanna show off the early access for the free trial of Magnet Review SAS, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that selected. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly sign in. Now that I've been signed in, you'll see we are marked as green and we're connected. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Here's where we're gonna provide our case number information. So I'll go ahead and enter that information in. And I acknowledge that this data is being uploaded to a secure US data center uh, as a part of Magnet Review SAS. So I'm gonna acknowledge that. Click next. If there were items particularly that we wanted to exclude for this case for whatever reason, we could always select that as well too. So once again, you know, we're really making this uh, customizable for examiners to be able to publish the data that they need to for their investigators to review. And sometimes that's all the data, sometimes it's a subset of that data, really up to you. And we're giving you as many options as possible as far as how you decide what you upload to Magnet Review for investigators to be able to collaborate on. So for this, I'm gonna leave everything just uh, unchecked here. We wanna publish everything. I'm gonna hit next. Here you can see we have our information for our upload. And lastly, I'll just hit export. Here you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, we're exporting to Magnet Review. So when we come back, we'll take a look at what this data looks like within Magnet Review SAS. All right, now that our evidence has been pushed to Magnet Review. Let's take a quick look at our dashboard here. So here you can see, this is the case that we just uploaded today. And here's another case that I've already been working on. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do from here. So our dashboard is gonna show all of our active cases and allows us to kind of quickly and easily identify what we're working on here. And if we need to, we can do a quick search with uh, applying some filters. I'm gonna go ahead and select this case. Here on the case dashboard view, we can see we have our artifact categories. We have our various tags and comments that we already had as a part of this case. On the left-hand side here, we have our evidence sources and then our, our basic case information uh, from here. When I select overview, you can see our 
different pieces of evidence. We can see our case information, our various tags as well with the numbers that are being tagged and if we have any users on our case. Here is also one of the places that you can share a case. I'll show you how else you can do that as well as we move through this. But for now, you can just see the users that are assigned to this case. And lastly, we have our reports. So if you want your investigators to then create reports from Magnet Review so that, you know, once again, if they're working a case that you don't need to be involved in per se, and they just need to be able to export a quick report, they could do that. Or they could export out, you could export out your tags and comments uh, to be able to pull that information back down and uh, put that into your Axiom case so that everything's uh, synced back up. But from here, I'm gonna go to Case Dashboard and then let's take a look at some of our evidence sources. So we have Google acquisitions, we have a Google takeout, Twitter information as well, and then a, a Facebook download your own data. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click on view artifacts here. And just as if we were in uh, Axiom or if we were using a portable case, all this information is artifact first. So on the left-hand side, we have our artifact categories and then our evidence items. And on the right, we have our details here. So we can just quickly expand these out and say, you know, for this, I want to look at uh, potentially recent devices uh, from this acquisition. And here you can see we have a Windows computer. We have a, uh, looks like a phone of some sort as well, too. Uh, it could be very relevant for this case. And as we look at this, we can see information such as it was running Chrome and potentially a good location uh, for it as well. When we keep looking at some of this uh, additional information, we see Google Drive files. We'll be able to get a quick information on the folder structure. We can see the owner information and we can keep going to the right and seeing just the basic information about this piece of evidence. On the right, we get a quick preview of what that looks like along with all that artifact information that could be very relevant, such as owner name, owner email as well too. As we keep looking on the left-hand side here of our different artifacts, we can expand out media. We can look at the various pieces of media that are associated with this Google acquisition. So I can select pictures here. We get a quick preview of the pictures. We can go on down to web-related information as well too and see there's potentially uh, Google map information, or we might have some refined results that could be interesting. So things such as Google searches, that could be very relevant for your case. So very easily I can start working my way through this case and seeing you know, what's important. And maybe uh, it, for this particular case, we're working illegal use of uh, guns and you know seeing an FN scar right there I can go ahead and select that maybe I want to go ahead and dig into that a little bit more we can see the URL we get the basic information for the timestamp here so since this is important information for my investigation I'm just going to go ahead since I've got this selected and hit add tag and select bookmark I can also say you know what I want to add a comment on this identify if suspect owns FN weapons. So just giving myself a comment to dig further into this uh, as a part of my investigation. Now you can add comments to your tags and as you can see here on the left hand side we identify that we have bookmarked this. There is a comment uh, along with it. But on the right hand side here you also have your notepad. And this can just be a running list uh, however you want to structure it. Uh, maybe you want to you know put your thoughts here as far as uh, identify additional weapons found within the search form. So we can keep this a running list. This is gonna be user specific while the comments are going to be case specific. So, so if I share my case now with another user, they're not gonna see my notepad. They would, however, see the comments that I've associated to this uh, tag here. So I'm just gonna save on this and just hit close. And we can always pop that back out whenever we need to. So as you can see, it's very quick and easy to kind of work your way through identifying what might be of interest for you as you're looking at this. We can go back up to the top. We've got it filtered on just the Google acquisition. We could always say, you know what, I want to see all of this together. And it just populates all that information with all the various artifacts uh, into one long list here. Really up to you on how you want to work your investigations. So here you can see we have more documents now because we're looking at all of our evidence sources. We can come in and look at PDFs or maybe CSVs are important for this case, seeing what's going on with that. We could also, if need to, you know, really filter down 
on a specific uh, date range or on a time filter just to look at a very narrow uh, window in this case uh, as well. I've looked at this data, but once again, this is not my case. I'm not sure what's all going on with this case. So I really wanna get this to the investigators so they can start looking at all this information. And instead of having to look at you know the Google acquisition, the Google takeout, the Twitter information, the Facebook information as all separate warrant returns, they have now one unified view that they can look at and they can build one report off all this information that's uh, very clear and very easy to understand, but they need to be able to look at this information. So I'm just gonna quickly go over to share case here, select this, we can enter a name or an email address. So if you've already created uh, or already have an account with an investigator, you can just type in their name. If you need to though, you can always share a case with a new user. So for this, I'm actually gonna use uh, coworker Steve Kimberly. Here you can see it's identified as a external user now that I've added Steve in. I can say what level of access he gets. So I can say he's a case member, he's a manager, so he would have admin access to this. And as you see, as you select these different ones, it's gonna give you a quick piece of information as far as what each uh, level of access allows you to do. I'm gonna go ahead and say he's a case manager for this since this is his case. And we also had the legal reviewer, so be able to review, tag, comment, and also be able to see uh, all the privileged content as well too. But for this, I'm gonna let Steve be the case manager and I'm just gonna hit share case. Now he's gonna get an email on his side saying, hey, we've invited you to look at this case. So he can just quickly create his account, log in, look at his information and continue working on his case. So I really hope you like Magnet Review SaaS. Uh, you know, we're running a free trial right now. Please check it out. Take some time to play around with it. I really think it's a huge step from going from burning portable cases to USBs, you know, and then trying to track down the case agent for them to look at that information to where you can simply upload from Axiom, shoot them an email saying, here you go, which all you have to do is do that from Magnet Review now. And they're off to the races to be able to work through their cases. With that, thanks. Have a great day.